you make of that? Uh, the sluggish first half, you guys came back into it hard in the second. Um, were you disappointed to uh, not hang on to the win after getting in front? Yeah, I think so. I think the first half we were probably playing at 60%. We weren't nowhere near our levels that we wanted. We looked a bit flat. Having said that, we got into some good areas, but we uh, we didn't execute in the final third. I said to my half time, a few little adjustments, and I expected a little bit more from them. And they responded brilliantly. Second half performance was exceptional in my eyes. Obviously disappointed to concede the goal at the end. Do you uh, have a problem with set pieces, now in terms of um, conceding goals from set pieces, all bar one now in the season that you conceded? Uh from set pieces, which I guess is, is good and bad, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, no, I, I think that's fair. I think if you break the set pieces down, you know, penalties are penalties. You know, what can you do about them? Corners, we can see it from two corners and, and two set, set pieces from free kicks and a deflected free kick, which you can't do much about. So is it making me happy? No. Do we need to improve? Yes, 100%. It's just a, it's a mindset switch when you have a set piece because as good or bad as you play, you can score any from one dead ball. Um, so we need to improve that area for sure. Carl, um, seven games undefeated now. I mean, how proud are you of that run? Well, I'm pleased for the guys. I really am because I, I just said, in t said to them in the changing room that, you know, uh, they should be proud because of the way they played in the second half especially. But I don't like draws. Uh, I get sick of draws sometimes and, you know, there's the old adage of you're better off winning and losing rather than drawing two games because you get three, one more point. So um, we threw two points away today. I generally believe that. And I said that to him. I said, what we need to learn is how to be better seeing out games. You know, we, uh, second half performances have been very, very good for us for the majority of the season. Uh, the character, the mentality of the group is very, very good as well and been very strong. But games, fine margins, win games and lose games, obviously. And we've been caught up with a couple of set pieces which we need to defend better. So, please, for, the, for them, it's about them believing. I think we're a really good team, but there's other good teams in the league. Um, and it's just about consistency. But they've, they've been very consistent. I'm just, sometimes I'm a nitpicker. The bench that you uh, unloaded today was pretty powerful. I mean, Cox, Much, Mitch Duke and, and Bruce Canal. How powerful is the squad that you've got at your disposal now with Graham Dorans to come back as well? Yes, getting there, getting to where I want to do, want it to be. I said when I first joined that I wanted to, you know, shake things up a bit and build a, a good squad. You know, we've got some fantastic young players. You know, I think Wilmer had his first start now since his injury and he was exceptional, you know, putting in a good 90 minutes. And, you know, with supplementing with these fantastic young players, we've got homegrown players from the academy. We need some good senior players and we've certainly got that. And, my job is to manage them as well because, you know, whether we put Brucey on today and we put Coxie and then Juki and Muchi come on and, and Thomas and then, you know, Georgie didn't come on, who's a big part of the team as well. So it's important that we have rotations at the right time because subs make impacts, as you saw today. But my job is to make sure that they're all involved and they will be. And once you get into a rhythm, Kwame got another goal today based upon following up from his last goal, and his last appearance. So he's in a little bit of a rhythm as well. And I want competition. Players perform best when there's competition for places. Players have bad habits when there's no competition for places because they decide when they want to turn up and when, when they don't want to turn up. And I try and eradicate that. Are you confident you can keep them all happy though? I don't know. Time will tell, I suppose. I'm a good person, so I tell the truth sometimes. And, you know, that's my job. I prefer to have um, those problems than not have those problems. I was surprised to see Steph not starting. I said to him, is he, is he in the bad books or something? I didn't know. Um, and he just smiled at me. So I'll catch up with Steph later. He's a, he's a great keeper. He's a good lad as well. So I was surprised. Obviously, the keeper that came in done very well for him, made some really good saves. And obviously, they got a point in the game as well. So I'm sure Ufuk will be very happy with the keeper.